Good evening. We start tonight with a developing story in a high profile murder case. Unsealed documents tell us more about a DNA match in the murder of Brittany Zimmerman. And her family tells News 3 they don't know why that man hasn't been charged in her death. News 3's Jessica Arp spoke to Zimmerman's mother today and has more for us, Jess. Well, the Zimmerman family has waited years for answers on this case, with which rocked the downtown area just more than eight years ago. Tonight, we know more about what police are looking at as evidence, but they are saying no more about how close they are to making an arrest. It was a girl trying to live her life, honestly. The mother of 21-year-old Brittany Zimmerman says eight years later, her family still can't make sense of the April 2008 murder in a downtown apartment, which hasn't been solved. We really struggle with this. I mean, it's been really, really difficult for our family to get through to this point and to, to just go on in life. Jean Zimmerman is now pointing to new details from a recently unsealed search warrant showing that DNA taken from Brittany's shirt sleeve hit on the offender profile of David Call in December of 2014. Neighbors News 3 spoke to the week of the murder said they'd seen Call going door to door asking for money. Investigators interviewed Call's friend Andrew Scholes serving time in a federal prison who said Call told him what happened to Zimmerman saying he confessed in tears but Scholes refused to provide more information without quote conditions. I hope someone comes forward and and says what they know or I think I, I hope the DA changes his mind and I hope that they file charges against him because I in in my heart I, I know that he had something to do with it. Zimmerman says DA Ishmael Ozan has told them he doesn't have enough evidence to file charges. Call is currently in Dodge Correctional after a seventh OWI arrest in April. He has to be held responsible and whoever was with him or if he was doing this alone he has to he has to pay for what he's done he he should not be able to walk free the documents say police used that search warrant to get emails and phone records between Scholes and Call. It does not say what was found. The Dane County DA tells us tonight no charges have been referred to his office by police and that he couldn't comment on an open investigation. All right, Jessica, our reporting live for us tonight from our news center. Jess, thank you.